Good evening, teacher. Hello, Angela. How are you? I'm very well, teacher. Hey, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay. How how was your your what Wednesday? Uh, I'm very very yeah well <laughs> very nice. It's better. Yes. All right. Yes. A lot of walking. <laughs> A lot of hot. <laughs> very hot. Very hot. Yes. Do you know why a lot of working and a lot of hot? I mean, why is that correct? No, of course. Why you can't say a lot of hot? A lot of work. work. No, but do you know why? Ah, porque? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so it's okay. It's okay to say a lot of work. It's okay. It's okay. But I'll a lot go. of hot is not okay. Do you know it's why? It's not okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very hot, maybe? Yes. It's very okay. hot. Okay. Thank you. But my Thank question you. is, do, do you know why? Mm, no. <laughs> no. And I don't know, understand, Richard? Okay. Um, you said today a lot of work and a lot of hot. Yes. No, uh -huh. a lot of work, it's okay. A okay. lot of hot, it's not okay. It's not okay. O sea, but it's... My it's... question is why? Por qué? <laughs> oh, because... Um... No, mi pregunta es por qué no está correcto. Si entiende por qué no es correcto ah. decir a lot of K, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of hot and a lot of work. Mm, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I don't know. Would you is uh, sure uh, because it's countable. Okay. And it's the difference is the countable and uh, contable, you know. Mm. That's the difference. Oh. Yeah. Bert, how are you, sir? Uh, sorry, sir. I was, uh, I mean, just attending my, I mean, giving the food to my cat because they were doing a lot of noise, meowing a lot. So, <laughs> when you were talking about with, we were talking with Angela, so I thought, decided to, oh, to okay. go. How many cats do you have? Five. Five cats? Yeah. Oh my God! Why so many cats? Why so many cats? Uh, I'm so obsessive with cats that why? I'm sorry. I'm so obsessive with cats. I'm so fanatical of cats. Oh, that's good. Um, personally, I hate cats. No, I'm joking. No, um, I don't like cats. Why? Do you... Allergies? No. Yes, I don't hate cats. I don't like cats because I am extremely allergic to them. Yeah, yeah, I know. This is really. I mean, my my doctor say I should should have cat because I also allerg have allergies. But what allergies uh, do you have? Think, do you sneeze or or you get big your face? Yeah, no I sneeze. It's like oh, rhinitis. No. <laughs> okay, no me. I my face gets swollen. Like oh, that's even worse. It's yes, really. And that's you know, complicated, I complicated. I had a problem in my ex job for that because I have a, a neighbor in front of me that <clears throat> she's a bad person because she loves cats, but she's very, you know what she does? She puts food outside for the cats. So sometimes in my block, there are 26 cats. 30 cats. When you open the door and you see the block, it's full of cats because of that woman. So the cats, and, and my block only has seven houses. 
So every morning when I open my garage, because it's, a, it's electric, like all these cats jump out. They sleep under my car. Okay, that's no problem. The problem is that when they jump, el pelo, the hair. So when I get in my car in the morning, <laughs> and so when I go to work, my face is extremely red. And my eyes are red. At that grado que pensan que siempre llegan a la coma. O drogado. In my work. Es alérgico a la luz. You, I mean, this is the word you swell. You swell. I mean, how do you say? Se infla? Swollen. Swollen. My, my face gets swollen. It's complicated. I mean, yes. I mean, I, this, like what I'm planning is just having, to, when they die, me, I'm not having cats anymore because I know I'm going to be 45 years old next November 1st. So I'm thinking about it because about my health. And this is the last cat I'm going to have in my life. But I can't put it away because, I mean, or give it away because. They just, they used to be here in my house. Yeah, so of course. I wonder if there's maybe, maybe, maybe if I wasn't allergic to cats, maybe I would have one. Maybe, I don't know. But for that reason, I don't like cats because they, I remember a long time ago, I had a girlfriend and she was an animal lover. And in her house, she had cats and dogs and birds, every animal you can imagine. So I had a very difficult time visiting her because the, the the sofas, everything was cats. So imagine, like I'm telling you, every morning when I open the door of my garage, all the all the cats. Whee! So when I'm driving and I go to work, my face is a, good morning, good, good morning, and you know. And my boss one day he called me. He said, David, I want to speak with you. Yes. Fíjate que nos ha llegado la atención de que tú vienes siempre un poco. <laughs> and I said, what? You know, your eyes are always red and venís hinchado. So do you have a drinking problem? And I said, no, no. I t <laughs> they, you know, they don't obligate you, but they actually told me, can you take a drug exam? I said, yes, no problem. It's like, I'm just extremely allergic. So, but you know, that's why I don't have dogs. Yeah, I'm planning on having any kind of animal in the future, but so far, well, that I can't deal with my cats. But you know, you know, I I recommend you one thing, especially girls. Do you have cats, Claudia? Do you have cats? Yes. Okay, let me let me tell you a personal ex story that happened to me. My wife lost a baby. We lost a baby because she had toxoplasmosis. And toxoplasmosis is like this. It's passed from cats and birds. Normally, everybody is immune to that. Son immunes. But some people are not. In this case, my wife. She had toxoplasmosis and she never knew. So, Claudia, if you ever decide to have a baby in the future, I would recommend you before that to have an, a check of toxoplasmosis. Okay, I would say. My my best friend is he, he's gay and um but that's not what happened is that one time he didn't call me like for six months sabia que pasó like hey carlos what's up you know he said no no yeah someday someday so i said wow six months so i went to visit him when he opened the door, 
¿Han visto ustedes los... ¿Cómo se miraban los judíos en campamento? That's how my friend looked. And I said, oh my God, tiene sida. It was, it was, it was, it was not good. It was my first reaction. <laughs> Carlos, what's wrong? Are you dying? And he said, I am very sick. And, um, you know, stupid me, I, I didn't see that. I don't know why it was my first, you know, it's instinct. But, tenía manchas everywhere. He, he was he was a skeleton and he's he's always big. You know what the problem was? His cats were killing him. What? His cats were killing him. He had cats. But he always had cats. He always had cats all his life. The problem is that when you get older, the older you get, he was 50. Now he's 55, I think, or something. But the older you get, you know, so the doctor told yeah, him. That's right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so he stopped having cats and now he's normal again. Imagínense lo que el daño que pueden hacer los gatos. <laughs> yes, you're right. That's what I'm thinking because, I mean, I'm getting old. I'm going to be in five years, I'm going to be 50 years. But you know what? I, 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 I recommend you. I mean, just check yourself. Get an exam. If, if you be, And if you're okay, then no problem for you. The problem is that my friend, my friend, he explained to me, the doctor told him the problem with cats and... Um, and birds, pájaros, es el pupú, que es tan, tan, tan duro, que si ahí se queda, se hace tan duro que se empieza a hacer polvo. And, and you know, you know, you walk in the house y no lo están aspirando, absorbiendo. So, so Claudia, remember, if you ever decide to have a baby, Please have a check because, you know, I don't want what happened to my wife and I. It was terrible. After five months, the baby boom. And the oh, problem. Oh, thank you. No, no, it's no problem. Well, thank you. But now we have a baby and it's, it's normal. But. Si hubiéramos sabido. All right. Hello, Ronald. Where are you now? Are you in the, in the roof again? No, in, in my garden now. This is my <laughs> garden. Man, you have a big... Wow, your garden is big. Yes, my house is big. You, I, yeah. well, I imagine you have good... I imagine so in Christmas, your house is, is the headquarters. It, it used to be, but not no longer as people like that. They, they got tired of Christmas, I guess. Or at least my family, we don't celebrate as before. You, you, oh, okay. No parties or nothing? No, I mean, there's a little party, but I guess it would be just having dinner and that, that's all. Okay. But you know what? I think it's in general because Christmas are not like before. Yes, that's what I think. I was yesterday. I was over there on the tree. No, I mean that's my roof. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. So, um, yesterday we were doing something like oh, I sent you something on the WhatsApp today. Did you check? The WhatsApp. Yes, to the group to the group WhatsApp, I sent a link. Yes. So I don't know if you saw that. And to continue the class yesterday, remember we were doing um, past modals. We were doing should things that you should do, things that you shouldn't do. Like for example, I was telling Claudia, Claudia, if you ever in the future want to have a baby. You should, 
you should have a toxoplasmosis exam. You yeah, too, like you too, bird. You know, because you have many cats, you should, you know, to avoid. Yeah. Any so, problems. so where can I get this test done? I don't know. That's a good question because my wife she had it done in the hospital. I don't know, but maybe you should call a laboratory and ask him, do you do exams for her? Or I don't know, ask a doctor, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Ask a doctor. But I, I think there are exams that, that say if you have it or not. Okay, so who else is in class today? Okay. Who else is in class today besides Jesus, Claudia, Ronald, and Angela? Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Susan. Hello. How are you? I wish someday you become teachers and you will know what it feels. I think you're in mute, Suzanne. Yes, I, I was. So, hi, good evening. I, I'm okay. Um, actually, I didn't join the class yesterday because I, my kids are sick and I had a rough day, but. You have two kids, right? Fine. Yeah. So when one gets sick, the other one gets sick. Immediately, yes. So, oh man, it's double the, mm -hmm. and then you, and then your husband, and then the domino effect. Yeah, kind of. I, I mean, sometimes because actually, um, most of the times is is just about uh, the three of them. Um, I I I don't know for some reason I don't get sick easily. Oh. But you know, it's very difficult when men get sick. Yeah, it's, it's the worst part. Yeah. Dicen que cuando un hombre se enferma es casi igual al parto de una mujer. I don't know. Suerte no me estoy en mi esposa porque me hubiera tirado un zapato. Okay. Let's do the, let me share my screen with you. Wait, hold on, let me change. Hey, this is, I promise you, I did not know this. Hey, I didn't know I have a whiteboard. Did you know that? Did you see my, my whiteboard, my notes? Yes, yes, yes. I, I didn't know that until now. Oh, that's good because that way I don't have to chat anymore. Okay. Do you see the lady? Yep. Yes. 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 You. Okay. Let me share sound. All right. Let's see what she has to say. Hi. Let's look at the following list. These are verbs of beliefs. They will help you express how certain or not you are about something. Ready? Repeat after me. Assume, be certain, be positive, be sure, bet, dubbed, figure, guess, 
have a hunch know for a fact suppose suspect use verbs of beliefs to discuss the following questions number one why do giraffes have long necks number two is there intelligent life in other planets Be certain. Do you understand all these verbs? These verbs are belief. Do you know what belief are is? Creer. Yes. So um, we have. It's a, it's a unbelief. Uh, it's a noun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the contrary is unbelievable. You're unbelievable. <clears throat> Lo único que pronunció mal, uh, doubt. Que creo que dijo dubbed or something. It's doubt. No doubt. Remember that band? Susan, maybe you know that band. Don't speak. You know what you're saying. I imagine you yeah, sung that I song. When Stefani match. It was beautiful. She was. Okay, uh, I assume. I am certain. I am positive. I am sure. I bet. Okay, assume we understand, correct? Le voy a dar un perfecto ejemplo. Le voy a dar un perfecto ejemplo. When nobody talks in class, I assume they're not listening. Hmm. No, wait, wait, wait. I bet they are not listening. So I am positive they are not listening. So, okay, assume I am positive, I am certain, I am sure. Porque esto lleva en el verbo be. You know why? Quieren ver algo, watch. Lisa, do you know why is I am positive? You see? I am positive, she's not listening. Oh yeah, Lisa. Hi Lisa. Hi teacher. Hello. Okay, do you know why people say I assume, I am positive, I am sure? Do you know why we say the verb to be before? I don't know, teacher. Okay, good, no problem. Does somebody know? Not really, never. Won. Okay, very because when you say positive, sure, certain, they're not verbs, they're adjectives. That's why people say, I am tall, I am short, I am fat, I am skinny. Yes? When you don't say I am, so for example, when you say I bet, I figure, I doubt, I guess, those are verbs. Oh, okay, let's continue. Okay, um, I imagine you don't have any questions, so let's do the listening part. Good evening, listeners, and welcome hear? to Still Unsolved yes. Mysteries. Yes. Tonight, we're going to talk about the strange case of Betty and Barney Hill. They were convinced that one night in 1961, they were abducted by aliens. Could this really have happened? Martha Stevens is here to talk about it. Martha, what's the story? Hi, David. Well, one night, while the Hills were driving home from a vacation in Montreal, they saw a bright point of light in the sky. Barney assumed it must be a plane or maybe a satellite, but Betty thought it could be a UFO. There were no other cars on the road, so Barney drove slowly so they could watch it. The object seemed to be flying beside them. Barney began to agree that it couldn't be a plane. So he stopped the car, and Betty said she saw about ten creatures looking at them through windows in the object. 
And then what happened? As they drove quickly away, they suddenly felt tired, and their bodies felt strange. Their next memory was driving on the highway again. They arrived at their home early the next morning. They said things were still strange. How were they strange? Well, they couldn't remember the drive home clearly. Betty found pink powder and stains on her dress. She had no idea where they might have come from. Did they contact anyone? Betty wrote a letter to the Air Force about their strange experience and about the terrible dreams she was having. The Air Force said Betty must have been having the dreams because she thought she saw a UFO. They said she couldn't have seen aliens. Betty and Barney were interviewed and hypnotized many times by doctors. They told stories about having medical tests on the spaceship. What did the doctors think? They doubted the story. They said dreams like this can be triggered by science fiction TV shows. Barney's description of the creatures matched creatures from a TV show. Doctors figured the Hills must have seen the show. Betty said Barney couldn't have seen the show because he worked in the evenings when it was on TV. Hmm, I suspect the doctors were right. That must be the real explanation. Well, maybe. There's one more thing. Doctors asked the Hills what time they left Montreal and what time they got home. The trip should have taken four hours. The Hills were amazed to realize it had taken them seven hours. What happened to the missing three hours? Good question, Martha. I guess that's why it's still an unsolved mystery. Did you understand? Did you understand the story? Yeah. yeah. The games, please, teacher. Excuse me? The game, please. The game. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Play it again. Okay. Play, play it again. again. Okay, would you like me to play it again? Yeah, okay. Yes, sorry to be rude to sound like rude. <laughs> Yes. I'm repeating what you said. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, but you know what? Before we continue, Lisette, um, let's do one thing. So, Lisette, because we will listen to it again. What do you, Bert, can you resume to Lisette what the story was about, the, the listening? Well, what we just heard is an interesting story about UFO. So most of people believe in this kind of event. It's, so it's, what they describe what happened to them while okay, they were I'm so, driving. I'm, I'm sorry, Bert. It's not EFO. It's UFO. What? It's, U, it's UFO. Uh, yeah, by the way, this is what I want to ask. Uh, why you, did you don't say UFO? Because it's, it's an acronym. Ah, okay. UFO means identified flying object. UFO. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they were telling the story about this couple. They were driving from Montreal to their home. So they were, they saw a different uh, weird event. They saw uh, UFO. So, but they, people, they tell the story to the other, to the police and uh, in a channel, but they didn't believe, didn't believe in it because it's an incre incredible story. So, but they still had some kind of doubt about because what happened who is during they? the three who is, hours. Who is they? The police? The police, yes. The police. Okay. And, uh. So it's interesting because so uh, it was so it was I, about it was about a family that disappeared on a on a trip. Yeah, they disappeared and they, they came back because by they don't have memory what happened. Only the wife, the the the, the female, she had these weird dreams, remembering something what happened during this. They were, uh, ¿cómo se dice la palabra? Uh, ractados. Uh, kidnapped. Because this is not kidnapped, yeah. Do you know? But in Hispanic, we say it different. 
Abduct, abducido, that's the word that I'm looking for. Abducted. Abducted. Okay. So do, she said she has dreams. Do you know do you know that story happened to Leonardo da Vinci? You know Leonardo da Vinci, right? Yeah, the 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 painter? Yes. So Leonardo da Vinci is a big mystery, not only because of a painter, but he was um, an inventor. And Leonardo da Vinci always started projects, but he never finished them because he had so many ideas. So, for example, the helicopter it was a Leonardo da Vinci idea. The tanks, uh, well, many things, but there is a part of Leonardo da Vinci like he, that nobody knows what happened to him in five or seven years, I think. You know, people that studied him, people that knew Leonardo da Vinci, there is a five or four years from his life that are not documented. So many people think that maybe he flew, you know, this is a theory, that maybe he flew into the future and he went back. And that's where he started getting the ideas of helicopters, airplanes, science, that even NASA used today. Yes? That's interesting. So it is. I, this is a movie related to this guy, right? The Da Vinci, the da Vinci Code. Code. No, yeah. really, it's it's not about Leonardo Da Vinci. It's it's about a book about about um about about the uh, about religions. But it's it's a very good movie, though. But oh, it's not okay. It's not related to his life. Oh, okay. No, it's not. It's not. It's not about Leonardo da Vinci. I wish someday somebody makes a very good movie about Leonardo da Vinci. We need that, but you know, people prefer to watch Fast and Furious. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, definitely. But anyways, so that's very interesting. There was like I I, I forgot if it was five or seven years that are not documented from his life. Like nobody knows where he was. So, uh, so is UFO, I, I, I want to forget because may, I may, say again. Maybe he was a time traveler. <laughs> yeah, that one. So, because ironically, he did a lot of things for war, for war, you know, like airplanes, tanks, and, you know, so how did he know that? So what about the other guy, Julio Verne? And the, he wrote some interesting story about to the travel to the moon. And I mean, how he was able to to think about what, what happened in the future. Yeah, it's a very big mystery. <laughs> I like reading about that. It's, it's, it's interesting sometimes. OK, so Lisa, did you understand more or less about what the story is? Yes, teacher. Okay. So now some people think the family is crazy or some people, they think, hey, no, but there's something strange there. Strange weather. Yes. Okay. So number one, it says the hills. So wait, wait, wait. Listen to the radio show. Check the facts or claims mentioned. Out of the eight facts or claims, there are only six of them mentioned. Listen carefully. Okay, what was mentioned here? The Hills saw an object fly. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ya sé por qué preguntaste por qué no se dice UFO, porque en español se dice OVNI, right? Yeah, that's oh, okay. why, because in Spanish, uh -huh, we, omit, we, do, we don't say O, B, N, E. But okay, that, that, that's a good question. Because normally in English, I don't know, I don't know if the United States invented 
the acronyms are only three letters. And if you notice everything you hear in English that has three letters, you never read, you just say each letter. UFO, VCR, Burger King, BKB. I'll be right back, BRB, you know. Hasta LOL, nobody says LOL. So I maybe it's a tradition that when, when it's three letters, people don't read the word, they read the letters. Okay, got it. USA. Hmm. In Spanish, la usa. <laughs> but in English, people say USA. Okay, so <clears throat> the hills saw an object flying beside their car. Did they mention this? Number one. Number two and three were mentioned. Okay, so number two was mentioned. Betty saw creatures looking at them from the object. Number three, the cre wait, I can't I make hand clap. Wait, so here Betty saw creatures looking at them from the object. Is that correct? Here's number three. Y no me da la opción de solo poner los seis. Okay, so, but the objective objective of this is, is the belief. Okay, so let's, let, okay, let's not focus on the story we heard. Let's talk about, today I was speaking with my friend, my friend, and he went, he told me that he went to, my best friend, he, he told me that he went to Dominican Republic recently. He went last week. And I said, hey, so tell me, how was your trip? Everything okay? And he says, man, David, you can't imagine. You can't imagine what a sensation Bukele is in Dominican Republic. And I said, oh, really? Why? Because, like, you get from the airplane, you get in the taxi. Hi, where are you from? El Salvador. Oh, my God, you're from Bukele. Tell me, is it true? And, you know, like everywhere they relate. If you say El Salvador, people stop you and ask you about Bukele. And I said, really? Like, no. And he says, it's incredible. So I imagine, I boy, I believe, or I assume it's because of what Bukele is doing in this moment in El Salvador. And people want that in their country, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so yes. did you see how I said a story and then I came to my conclusion? I assume, I imagine. Yes? Let me give you another example. Is a Piquen Shakira? I don't know, but I bet you. What is I bet you? Como te apuesto. Te apuesto, yes. I tell my friends, I bet you this is this is show business. I bet you it's show business because suddenly they separate the scandal and boom. Empieza a ir las canciones de Shakira en contra, you know. And then boom, boom, boom. You know, it's show business. So maybe, maybe they are still married and they're happy, but they have to. I don't know. I, I That's what I tell my friends. I just think it's funny that they separate. And then when they separate, Shakira takes out a new album. You know, it's promotion. Maybe that's what I tell people. I bet you. Okay. I agree, teacher. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe it's a promotion for the new album. 
hey, if somebody tells me, hey, I will give you $100 million y insultar a tu esposa, I promise you. Sí, hombre. And I tell my wife, you know, even my wife, mi, mi esposa me ayudará a escribir las canciones. No, decía esto de mí, decía esto. For $100 million, yes. <laughs> okay, so I bet, I assume, I imagine. Uh, Ronald. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I saw you. Ronald, Friday, the traffic is going to be crazy. And in San, I think in all of El Salvador, but especially in San Salvador. Why do you think? Mm, I assume because we get like stuck in the traffic due to uh, traffic accidents. People don't respect their lane and they just don't let other people pass. They are no. too fast, they are going too fast. No, but and... listen no, but listen to my comment. I told you I was specific about Friday. Mm -hmm. Friday, there's going to be a lot of traffic. And so it's about Friday. Why do you think? Uh, okay. I I consider because people are looking for like hanging I assume. Out. I assume, okay. People are looking for like partying. They are trying to hang out. They just want to stress out uh, their life. And they are trying to look, looking for a party, looking for a party. Okay, okay that's- And they that's, don't stay at home. That's a that good day. reason. That's a good reason. Does anybody else have a different reason? Um, I think uh, our two days that are crazy, Monday and Friday, because um, Friday because everybody wants to stay at home and rest, and Monday because people imagine or assume that it will be traffic, and that's why they are around four or five a.m. Yes, but but you know what? Um, I don't think you understand my comment. <clears throat> because no, but but thank you. But I yeah. didn't say I, I didn't I didn't say why are Fridays crazy in traffic? I said I was a specific. Why do you think this Friday will be crazy? Because I assume it's the last day for vacation. It's the you know that that's the last day, and next week is vacation. So people go crazy when when. For, for many schools and companies, like the government, Friday is the last day, I think, or tomorrow. I don't know if it's Friday or tomorrow. But, you know, Friday, because next week is vacation, right? Okay, let's continue. I didn't take that in consideration because I don't have vacations. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't know that. Typical Cosentero, yes, we don't have vacation. I'm having vacation next week. Oh yeah, but I love to have. I, I that's why I love call centers. I like to work on on holidays, Salvadorian holidays. <clears throat> because when you're married, when you're married, people make decisions for you. So if I have vacations next week. You know, my wife makes plans for me. Okay, mira. Monday, Tuesday, we're going to go to the beach. Wednesday, we're going to go with my mama, visitar a no sé quién, blah, blah, blah. And all I want is to be home, watch TV. So, I said, I'm sorry, baby. I work on vacation. Tendrás que ir sola. Mm. Yes, so, nice. Class, disculpen. ¿Por qué no les gusta hablar? De verdad, fíjense que yo, o sea, para el nivel de el que ustedes están, el, el nivel que yo di la vez pasada era básico y se los juro, yo era el que menos hablaba. Uf, cuando yo hago las preguntas, y de verdad, yo ya, ya, ya se los prometo que va a ser la última vez, yo ya no, pero me dan mi cara, así los veo a todos. 
Y sí. si le hago preguntas, a veces a lo lejos quizás, no todos, o sea, estoy hablando en general. ¿Ya? No todos, o sea, estoy hablando en general. Porque les rogué, bueno, ahorita me acaban de decir algunas personas de la cámara y todo, les rogué, se los, desde el primer día se los expliqué como cinco mil veces. Please, please. Y, ¿cómo se llama? Es bien, eh, a mí, a nosotros nos piden, hey, si no están, porque hay muchas personas, me acuerdo que la vez pasada sí tenía alguien que no tenía cámara. Y está bien, pero me, estaba tan activa esa persona que ni necesitaba tenerla, pero ahora a veces hay gente que ni está en la cámara y están en mudo. Entonces nos piden y yo siento, yo les digo, pero a veces me siento mal porque mitad de la clase está sin cámara y mitad con cámara. Y a veces mitad de la clase son cuatro personas. Y a veces hay más gente sin cámara y no los puedo ignorar, les tengo que hacer preguntas. Pero es que el problema es que no sabemos si están ahí o no. Y ahora la gente que está en cámara, la mayoría ni hablan estando en cámara. Eso se hace un poco difícil, bien difícil. Y se los juro por mi madre, de verdad. Si solo yendo no van a, 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 a mejorar su inglés. I promise you, I promise you. Como les digo, oigan todas las clases que hemos dado. Vean quién habla más. Vean cuántas veces les suplico, por favor, que hablen. Solo se quedan. Y por eso les digo, me siento bien raro porque la clase anterior que tuve era básico. Man, y eso me sí hablaba. O sea, y lo peor que eran básico, pero hacían el gran esfuerzo. Se notaba la diferencia, pues se, se miraba el esfuerzo que querían ellos. De, teacher, teacher, pero, y me hacían preguntas, me encantaba eso. Teacher, teacher, ¿por qué dijo así y no así? Oh, claro, ok, let me explain. Pum, 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 pum. Yo sé que muchas personas no entendieron este listening, pero solo una persona me dijo que no entendía porque le pregunté. Pero, o sea, también se les puede cambiar teacher si quieren. Yo puedo pedir un cambio y se les puede poner a la otra persona, a la que tenían antes, pero el punto es que tienen que participar. Yes. Claudia, muchas gracias. Usted en la primera clase hasta hoy está participando más. Thank you. Me he dado cuenta. <ríe> Thank you. Bueno. En, en general, pues, les digo, de verdad, solo una hora tenemos. Eh, platique, o sea, por ejemplo, esto, nos, el, lo preocupante no era oír la, la, la historia y qué pasó con la familia, era asumir. O sea, ese es el tema hoy. I imagine, I suppose, I bet. Yes. La idea es que ustedes den la, los ejemplos, pero aquí me estoy volviendo loco que no sé qué más ejemplo darles, porque, por ejemplo, lo que estábamos haciendo ayer, vaya, yo empecé hoy con un ejemplo de lo que me dijo mi amigo que pasó en República Dominicana. Y es cierto, eso me dijo, uy, fíjate que ella decía que soy de El Salvador. Lo primero que te dije es, hey, buquele, buquele. Entonces, I assume it's because of the popularity of buquele. O sea, ¿creen que buquele era el tema? No. Era el I assume y ahí empieza el vocabulary. I assume it's because. Yes. Entonces, se, y eh, después le tocaba a usted dar un ejemplo. Hey, hoy mi jefe estaba de muy mal humor. Un ejemplo, ese era el comentario. Y alguien va a decir, I imagine he had, he was very stressed. You know, it's, it's that, it's, it's that practice. You need to practice. <clears throat> you really, really need to practice. Yes. To yeah, be better. Yeah. <clears throat> to be yeah. better. Yes. My, my opinion is that, for example, at least that's what I think, that the platform, it's good, but it's not like set for open questions. It's just set it's for... Not your answers so that's why they uh, perhaps this group could not speak as much as you would like to but or we could be shy well at least in my case i don't consider i am shy because i participate whenever oh, yes. i got the opportunity but the platform is not like helping us no. to 
to express no, I, ourselves. I understand. And if you notice, I really don't, don't me too. I don't like the platform. I don't. <laughs> and that's why I try to ignore it a little. Like, for example, yesterday and Monday, it was modals. We were watching the video about modals. I didn't concentrate on the videos. Okay, did you see it? Okay, boom, let's practice. Let's do it our way. <clears throat> you know, so I was doing examples with modals, like like today, like today. You know, maybe this listening was, it wasn't maybe the best listening. Okay, but do you understand the topic today? Is belief. So you tell me a story. What do you think it is? Like, remember, um, I think it was Monday that we were doing, we were doing modals and I told you, oh, my wife vomits frequently. Uh, what should I do? You know, that was not part of the platform. It was part of the grammar. Yes. So we have to be, a, you know, dije, voy a hacer eso para que hablemos más, si todos pongamos un ejemplo. But thank you, Ronald. You you are right. You're right in that. <clears throat> y otra cosa. De verdad, tengo más de 15 años de dar clases. Y yo sé que hay cosas que no se entienden, pero no creo. Quizás una o dos veces creo que alguien me ha dicho no entiendo. <clears throat> Thank you. Pero yo sé que han habido muchas cosas que no se entienden. Pero si ustedes no me preguntan. Es como, ah, no entendí. Next. No entendí. Next. 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 Ah, oh, man. Cada cosa que no entiende es algo que están perdiendo porque no saben. Y la idea es corregirlo ahí. Por ejemplo, hoy Ángela me dijo, it's a lot of hot. And a lot of work. Yo le dije, no. ¿Se acuerda que le sabe por qué? Y le expliqué por qué. Yes. Ahí es bueno corregir en el momento. Live. Yes. No, you're welcome. No, uh -huh. you, because remember, in, for you, English is a necessity. Remember I told you the difference between study and learn? Study and learn. Study and learn. Yes. Okay, so um, like like the example I told you today, Friday is going to be a total chaos traffic. Oh yeah, why? I assume or maybe I imagine it's because vacation is the vacation next week. I can imagine that people uh, yeah, imagine people that live in Santa Ana or San Miguel and they and they live in San Salvador that day when they finish work, boom. They're going to Santa Ana or San Miguel or vice versa. People that live in San Salvador and they work in Santa Ana or San Miguel, that day they come back because it's vacation. Yeah, and also what Ronald said, you know, that day many people will go start vacation that day and go to the beach. The majority of the people. Like, remember Christmas? Oh man, December is so ugly. And like December 15, but Atlanta is terrible. You can't, you can't go anywhere. It's always full. <clears throat> okay. Um, Amnesia. This is a very interesting story. Okay, let's go into it. We un you understand what amnesia is, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's read it. Mm -hmm. What is amnesia? Well, I think it's a cycle. I mean, neuro ne neurological problem where you for forget everything, and I think it's neurological because. Uh, is something that maybe you hit your head or something. I imagine it's because you do something, a disease, or you had a disease, or you hit your head, and you forgot everything. Yes. That's an easy. Yes, um, it's when you lose your memory. 
I think it's more when you lose your memory. Yeah, when you lose your memory is because you, you forget. But um, the only difference is I think that when you forget, it's controllable. You know, you can control it. Like me, I forget because I always forget things. But when you lose your memory, it's like, el disco duro. <laughs> I always forget things. So this is a story about newlyweds. Do you know what newlyweds is? No, I don't. Oh. Okay. Um, when you get married, after the first day you get married, the first days, weeks, months, you are newlyweds. Newlyweds. So, for example, imagine you get married Saturday and you go to the beach Saturday night. You will put a hey, newlyweds in your car. Newlyweds, you know, people. Hey, what is newlyweds? Noche de boda. No. Like the house honeymoon. No. No. It, like just the, married. Yeah, just married. <laughs> listen to the word newlyweds. Listen, casados. ¿Cuánto dura recién casado, Susan? And what about bliss? Bliss. Yes, the, the next word. Newlyweds, bliss. Oh, well, I'm okay. Now I get it. You will see. You let's let's do that right now. Let's do the reading. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to read the first paragraph. If you do not understand the word, please tell me when I finish the paragraph. Amnesia spoils newlyweds bliss. Bliss is Sayama. Yes. So imagine you're a newlywed. Everything is perfect. This is some bliss. It's like, man. But the amnesia spoiled it. Do you understand, Ronald? Yes, like it's like an adjective. Yeah, it is. Like perfect. Similar to perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, everything, oh. everything was perfect. Viento en popa, I suppose. Amnesia okay. spoils newlyweds bliss. Spoils, what is spoils? Like run it. Ruin it. Ruin it, yes. Ruin it, okay. Okay, so listen to this. It says, what if the person you married forgot who you were? For one Texas couple, marriage became a blind date when the groom came down with amnesia days after their wedding. Amy and Sean McNulty's wedding day started well, but ended with a shock. One of Sean's good friends was in a coma because of a serious car accident. Nevertheless, Amy and Sean decided to make their honeymoon trip according to plans. Questions? Nevertheless, I, I I don't get that word. Okay. And the phrase the room, the room came down. What is groom? Groom. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, who said that? Ronald, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, yes. Okay, I so do. right so right now you are the boyfriend and she's the girlfriend. Okay. The day you get married, you're not the boyfriend anymore. You are the groom. Yes. So groom is el novio, pero ya casado. Hmm. The husband. Similar husband. Exactly, Lisa, yes. You are the groom, 
She is the bride. Uh, the course bride. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I get it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that day you, she's not your she's not a girlfriend anymore. That day she's the bride. That day you are the groom. So that day is a sacerdote or whatever, whoever marries you. I said, who is the groom? Me. Who is the bride? Me. Bueno, después de estar comprometido, ya pasan a ser the groom and the bride. Pues, eh, eh, cuando están en los planes de matrimonio. So, uh, uh, Claudia, you asked me came down. Is that the first paragraph or second? Never no, I, I was asking you the phrase that Ronald asked you. The groom came down. Okay, the groom came down with amnesia. It's it's came down as resultó con <laughs> came down. Thank you. You're welcome. At the airport, Sean realized he left his wallet in the car after they parked. He said to Amy, I'll be right back, but he didn't return. Amy contacted the police who found Sean wandering near a motel three days later. He was confused and covered in bug bites. Do you notice bug bites? No. What the main teacher? Las picadas. Oh, yeah. Like in, a, in El Salvador, that's very common. If you don't put repellent in the beach, you get bug bites. Oh. Bug is like an insect. O sea, puede ser zancudo, mosquito. Una spider también, porque any, muerden. Yeah, anything. Uh, any little insect that can bite you is a bug bite. Garrapatas. Oh, so imagine this man, he was lost for three days with covered in bug bites. What is wandering? Wandering. Very good. Wandering is, is this. When you are lost. Wandering is like. Wondering is that you don't know what's going on. Estás intentando adivinar que, que, you know, what's happening. Desorientado. Thank you, Uli said that. Yes, that's a very big. Yes, I think that's a perfect example. Sanchez Serán de Presidente, you know, <laughs> he was wondering. <laughs> Okay. Joe Biden also. <laughs> Joe Biden. Man, that guy is very stupid. He's funny. <laughs> Viste cuando le dio la mano al, al aire? He was, he yeah. was wondering, like, oh. Did you see a video? There's a video that they took. And when Joe Biden is talking, Somebody in front of him está diciendo, like with a tablet, you know, stand up, sit down, eh, touch your note, o algo. Literalmente le están diciendo qué hacer. Imagine well, it. That's crazy. Okay, so he had no idea who he was. I mean, Sean could not remember. Okay, so. Amy was now married to a man who viewed her as a stranger. I wondered, you know, is he going to remember me? How is our relationship going to work, said Amy. Pobrecita, no le pudo dar esto antes de casarse. I had a friend, he got married. And then he discovered that his wife had schizophrenia. This That's was, terrible. yeah, 
This was a big change after a six year courtship and plenty of shared memories. So imagine they had a relation for six years. I had to learn to ask him, can I hug you? I mean, was that was hard, said Amy. Psychiatrist Dr. Daniel Brown says, Sean's amnesia might have been caused by a series of stressful moments, like his friend's car accident. According to Dr. Brown, Sean's brain didn't connect with his identity anymore. He doesn't know who Sean McNulty is and has no memory to help. Can, can we say that amnesia is a illness or is there any other word? Because I knew that illness was for like cough or, or headaches or different kind of illnesses. No, it, it is an illness. Ah, okay. It's like Parkinson. It's an illness too. Hmm. Okay, it's sort of, if you forgot the name of a file you stored in your computer, you know it's there, but you can't find it, said Brown. His memory is like that. Fortunately, the better times soon arrived. The day before their first anniversary, Sean's memory flooded back in an, in an instant. He soon remembered everything, including their wedding. I remember shoving cake in her face, said Sean. It was great. Shoving is, he got cake and put it on her face. Shove. Sean views the experience as a chance to confirm he picked the right bride. I got to see how much she loves me, said Sean. We have a much stronger, closer bond from the experience. I couldn't have found a better woman to spend my life with. That's true. Imagine you married a person and then you, in two, three days, this person gets amnesia. What would you do? Would you stay with that person? Imagine difficult. Very, yeah. very difficult. It must be very difficult, yes. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're Thank welcome. You. Okay. We'll talk, Thank you, we'll talk a little bit more about this tomorrow about the vocabulary and then you know how we can use that in a sentence. Porque aquí había otro interesante que me gustó que decía. I remember well, okay, like shoving. Uh, shoving I couldn't have I shoving couldn't cake. have found yes you know shoving is like in El Salvador do you remember cuando tomaban el bus you shove <laughs> like you know when you were in the bus people didn't push you they shoved you like that's a shove yes so teacher oh. uh, I'm sorry uh, uh, quick question so make the difference pronunciation between wonder and wonder because i confused those and wonder and wondered what do you mean yeah uh, wonder with o was... and the other one with the a but wonder is uh ask yourself right one wondering with the o oh yeah and wondering okay. was like confused mm -hmm. or lost right exactly uh, you said it right there, the O and the A. Wo, wa. Remember I told you yesterday, I think, that English is from the lips? Yeah. Not from the stomach? Uh-huh. Wonder, wonder. Wonder, wonder. wonder. It's wonder and wonder. Wonder, wonder. wondering. Wonder. Yes? Wonder. Wonder. Okay, okay, class. Thanks. Thank you very much. Have a happy Wednesday. I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.